Every AI-generated image you've ever seen started as pure noise, static, chaos, nothing recognizable. That seems backwards. We think of creation as building something from nothing, adding paint to canvas, pixels to screen. But diffusion models flip this entirely. They don't create images, they destroy noise. The model learns what noise looks like when added to real images, then runs that process in reverse. Start with static, subtract the noise step by step, and structure emerges. It's not generation, it's excavation. The image was always there, buried in the randomness, waiting to be uncovered. Here's how training works. Take any image, a photograph, a painting, anything. Add a tiny bit of random noise. The image gets slightly fuzzy. Add more noise, and more. After a thousand steps, the original image is completely gone, just static. This is called the forward process. At each step, we know exactly how much noise we added. We have the recipe for destruction. Now here's the clever part. We show the model these noisy images and ask what noise was added here. Do this across every corruption level, from barely fuzzy to pure static. The model learns to recognize noise patterns at every single stage. That's the foundation. Predict the noise and you can remove it. Now, the key insight. If you can predict the noise in an image, you can subtract it. Start with pure static, a thousand steps of corruption. Ask the model, what noise do you see here? It makes a prediction. Subtract that. The image gets slightly cleaner. Repeat, a thousand times. Each step, the model removes what it thinks is noise and structure emerges from nothing. Edges form, colors stabilize, details sharpen. After a thousand careful subtractions, static becomes image. The network never studied composition or color theory. No lessons in shading or perspective. Its only skill is recognizing noise and removing it. That single ability, applied repeatedly, transforms chaos into coherent images. Generation through destruction, reversed. But how do you control what emerges? This is where text conditioning comes in. Models like Stable Diffusion pair with a second neural network called CLIP. It understands both images and language, mapping them into the same mathematical space. When you type a prompt, say, astronaut riding a horse, CLIP converts those words into coordinates, a point in high-dimensional meaning space. This vector guides the denoising at every step. The model doesn't just remove noise randomly. It removes noise in a direction that pulls the image toward your description. Same starting static, different text prompt, completely different destination. The noise removal becomes steered, nudged toward your words. You're not really creating from scratch. You're navigating through possibility space, letting language be your compass. The engine behind this is called a U-net. Picture a neural network shaped like the letter U. Images flow down through encoding layers that compress them into abstract representations, smaller tensors, but denser with meaning. Then back up through decoding layers that reconstruct fine detail. Skip connections bridge across the U, preserving information that compression alone would lose. Modern systems like Stable Diffusion work in this compressed representation called latent space, not on raw pixels. Same diffusion concept, smaller canvas, dramatically faster computation. Billions of parameters learning what noise looks like at every scale. What appears to be AI creativity is really pattern recognition operating at massive scale. Not magic, just math, finding signal hidden in static. Michelangelo once said he didn't carve David. He simply removed the stone that wasn't David. The sculpture was already there, trapped in the marble, waiting. Diffusion models work the same way. Every image you could ever imagine already exists, encoded somewhere in the infinite possibilities of random noise. The model doesn't create, it reveals. It chips away at chaos until structure remains. When you type a prompt, you're not ordering a creation, you're describing what to uncover. The next time you see an AI-generated image, remember, it was always there. Hidden in static, waiting in the noise, the model just knew where to dig.